That's unfortunate. There is bits and pieces of metal. It even look like some copper up in here. do got like a, a different look they have that blue look to them I think if it's like slid all the way down here you'd have enough leverage oh I'm scared oh my goodness dude I feel like I seen the whole head move up when you broke it loose <laughs> goodness what the hell? Who torqued you down? <laughs> it seems like, like 150 feet. <laughs> he said who torqued them down. <laughs> I'm dead. I don't know. I mean, this is not just what happens over time. Is like, I know they... Like, like it gets tight. harder? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> So I've decided I'm reusing these head bolts because Honda wanted $200 for some and I'm not finna pay that much. Mainly because I don't have it right now. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't smell that funky smell though when you're taking them off. Yeah. Well, I guess it, it, it'll probably happen once you take it all the way out. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, this obviously looks very similar with the B-Series. I think the torque card should be the same with the B-Series. I remember by heart, one of these is one. I know it's just like one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. I think you start from the center. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at it. So like, you're gonna need like got a lot. the head off. Cleaning up the top of these pistons right now. Alright, you ain't gonna be able to reach the other ones though. You're gonna need a mic, yeah. You're gonna need a lot of like paper, paper towels. towels. <laughs> That's tough. Try not to let that get in those uh, holes. Yeah. That's why I... What the heck was that? Oh no, there's a ghost in <laughs> here. <laughs> I literally have no idea what that was. I was gonna say you don't have a dog, do you? I do. Maybe your dog? Could have been. Yes, yes, it's But yeah, it got the head off. Cleaning off the pistons right now. Oh, let me. I wanna flip this over and see what these dogs look like. Oh, goodness, they look bad too. Trying to get some Is that from the, the spray, maybe? The drip in? It's possible. This one kind of looks the same, though. You see it? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the spray. But no, I can feel it. Man. I don't know. I don't know. Try to... Oh, stop. Stop! <laughs> Dang, this nigga. I was just about to say I got the expert over here helping me. This nigga over here smacking my head light off. I know some of y'all are probably mad that I'm reusing the, the same head bolts. But unless y'all want to buy me some ARP ones, y'all can kiss my butt. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it just sucks. This dude's an extension. Could you see why, like. Yeah, it ain't no space. No, like. Well, actually, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. <laughs> Alright, y'all, see you next day. 
Um, man, ended up taking all day doing this and didn't even get to finish. Um, still have to do the valve lash, um, tighten my timing belt. Um, put this back on, plug this in, that's nothing. Plug the rest of the injectors in. Um, slap the dizzy on. And, um, like this. Something needs to be done with this. It don't look right. <laughs> um, that's basically it. And then, then get my fluids back in there. And I'll pour some oil in here. Pour uh, some coolant in there. And after that, I guess that should be it. Should be good to go. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna have to contact my team and see what I can do. Um, it's crazy though that um, the only damage, like the head didn't even look damaged at all. Um, mm -hmm. That don't mean it is because the head that's on the car right now that we took to the machine shop, that one didn't look damaged either. It ended up having two bent valves and some leaky valves and stuff like that. So Just because it don't look damaged don't mean it, it ain't. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but for whatever reason, the cylinder won't super scarred up. Like, that was pretty much the only damage that I've seen, though. Um, other than that, everything looked pretty decent. Um, what else? Yeah, I guess that's basically it. Go ahead and get started on the valve lash. And then I'll go from there and do everything else. Alright, so as I'm doing the valve flash right now, um, one thing that we didn't think about yesterday before we slapped the cams on and all that, we never loosened the rocker arms. So they will still, you know, all at random specs. And um, that's something you don't want to do. You want to make sure you loosen the rocker arms first before you slap the uh, cams in. And we forgot to do that. And hopefully it didn't damage anything, but I mean, the cams look basically how they did before. They don't look any more beat than they did. Some of them already looked, you know, like how this one does. This one already looked like that. They, they all look the same, luckily. They don't look any different. Um, but not only that, another thing that I forgot was before I did all this, I drained all the fluids so there was no oil in the engine. And um, obviously as I'm doing this, I'm turning the crank. I don't know if that can hurt anything or not, but um, that's another thing that I thought of as I was turning it and I was thinking it was kind of hard to turn the crank. Um, there's no oil in it, so or there was no oil in it, so that could have been part of the reason why it was hard to do, and the fact that the rocker arms are still all, you know, just at random spots. So yeah, just um, some things that you should think of before you slap your head on that I didn't think of personally, so yeah. Also, um, when we took this old head off, there was no little o-ring right here. So that could have easily been, um, you know, part of why my VTEC was acting weird really too. And why I thought I was having oil pressure issues. But um, we have one on here now, so it's all good. Okay, so I'm done with the valve adjustment. Um, at this point, all I got left to do is tighten my timing belt and um, my distributor. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, it's all done. <laughs> um, go ahead and crank it over, prime it, and then double check everything <clears throat> and see if it'll turn over. So I 
have the thing uh, nothing for me. Okay, we're gonna pull up this connector right now. <clears throat> So, fuel pump might go prime or none of that. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna let the fuel pump prime a couple times. Died when I let off of the clutch. <laughs> Not entirely sure why. But, um, check it out real quick. See if I have any fuel leaks. I don't see anything. I was thinking that this um, could have been off 180 degrees, but I guess it wasn't because it fired up. Right, let's see. acting like that so I'm thinking I'm gonna put water in the cooling system just to make sure I don't have any leaks and if it's good then I'll drain it all out and put cooling in of course um, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Almost like, hmm, how do I explain it? The timing looks on point. It's almost like, um, it's misfiring. Start it one more again. Check it out, see what's going on. I should probably uh, be connecting my laptop too, to checking everything out. of my TPS. I'm going to go ahead and connect my laptop and calibrate that and then see what's going on after that. Okay, so I just calibrate my TPS. Um, let me see. This is what I'm really trying to look at here. Oh, it's still running like garbage for some reason.
so real quick I'm gonna check uh, just double check everything all right so I found my issue I was checking my plugs this is cylinder one that's right and then cylinder two is going to cylinder three and then cylinder three is going to two so these are backwards I don't know how I don't know how I did that I literally just put these on this was like the last thing I put on so I don't know how I mixed those up so I gotta flip those around all right so I got those in the right order now now it should run perfectly fine Basically, I did that because it was it was not letting my throttle open up all the way. Let me see. Uh, it's not open, but it could be because I did that and I was idling higher, or it could just be like maybe a vacuum leak. Um, this is in the brake booster is in and that's basically the only vacuum that I have on this car so at this point I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's like um I don't know maybe my team got corrupted or something I have no idea honestly or maybe it's just something going on with the computer again I don't know what it is but the car is just Acting like how it was um, when was that after I had to issue my chip and it was running stupid rich that's exactly how I'm acting right now like it's basically running all the way rich and you know my Revit is running like absolute garbage and I can't seem to find a reason why. What the heck is going on with this thing? Now it's idling pretty much normal. Just a second ago it wasn't doing this, but it is still saying and it's running stupid rich. But it's responsive again. Oh yeah, there it goes running like crap again. Basically, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to wait until tomorrow to get tuned. But, um, you know, it is what it is, I guess. It's no big deal, it's only one more day. It'll probably be better, anyways. It's gonna be on a Saturday. So I can probably do it earlier in the day. Um, but yeah. Um, I th I'm pretty sure the car is going to run fine after I get it tuned. But after I have, have my tuner look into, you know, what's going on with this thing. Why is it running like that? I'm high key thinking it may be a vacuum leak because this is, uh, if that was the last reading. Let me see. That shouldn't be, that should be like much higher. Or lower, I should say, than that. It should be like negative, like 28 or something like that. Especially with the car off. Like, that don't really make sense. 
Hmm. I don't know. But also, this don't make sense neither. Um, everything else looks fine now. But yeah, like the car's not even running. And the air feels all the way rich. Which makes no sense at all. I don't know. And yeah, I have no idea what to make of it. Alright, so. Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> I was about to get the car tuned, but um, I was having a vacuum leak. Um, I was spraying carb cleaner like right here towards the center of this of the uh, manifold, and it was um, you know, right here it was like it was leaking. So, smile right here like that. So yeah, um, it's in the process of getting tuned, but it started having a vacuum leak. Boy, well, it had a vacuum leak, and I can clearly see right here that this is where it was seeping in. So I was spraying carb cleaner like right there, and it was getting in. So um, right now, I am going to clean this gasket, of course. And I will spray copper seal on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to spray copper seal on it like I did last time. Slap it back on there. And then um, let it sit for an hour. And then we're going to jump back into it after that. Yeah, I don't know how this car used to run. Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Well, I guess that one could have not been looking before. But now, we got a vacuum leak right here. Right here. So, um, well, it kind of looks like that right here, too, but it's not leaking on right here. But it's looking bad right here. So, I'm going to back and look right here, too. This guy is probably looking to me, too. But it's crazy because yesterday it wasn't leaking right here. I sprayed, sprayed car cleaner right there and it didn't do anything. So, yeah, this car is giving me a hard time right now. I don't know why. <laughs> but I couldn't even get the car to idle at first. I just kept, started it and I had to keep it alive for a minute. Then I just kept revving it and now it'll finally idle. And you see the wide band is. You know it's running good now but at first it was just running stupid rich like it's been doing and I had to just freaking keep revving it to keep it alive and I was holding the throttle to where it was like around 1800 RPMs then I had to rev it to the sky a couple of times <laughs> no I had to rev it to like four grand a couple of times and then you know it started idling after that but you know, obviously, if you got vacuum leaks, then that's going to give you problems, so. Just got to figure this thing out, man. So, now I have to take this upper plenum off. And see what's going on with the gasket. Hopefully, it can be reused, but it probably can't. And I might have to order one, and I don't even know. Alright, so. I can clearly see. Right here, ain't no telling how long this thing been leaking. But, um, you can clearly see right here that the plenum was leaking. And, you know, my gasket looked like it's kind of folded or whatever. And that's probably why it was leaking. See? Like, all folded over. So, um... I was thinking I would have to use the RTV, but I can probably, I don't know, because I don't want to tear this taking it off. I was going to say, I can probably just copper seal it, but I don't know. It's look kind of dirty up in here. to clean that a little bit. Freaking 
sediment up in here. I'm gonna clean this out. And oh no. I guess just put RTV all in on here. Alright, so got it all back sealed up. Um kill it like my gasket is pushing out right here. But that's how it was at first. And now it's you know it looks fine right here. It's still like the gasket is kind of I don't know pinched or something. But um what I went ahead and did was I took RTV and smeared it right here afterwards. You know, after I got it all tightened down. I tried to come through with the towel and clean it up around, but um I don't know. Let me see if I look at it from this angle. You can probably see it's still all up in there. I even just came around and, you know, I tightened these as well. These didn't really move much, but they actually did move. Actually, this bottom one moved quite a bit as well. All right, so I'm sitting in here uh, trying to straighten up my garage a bit, mostly back there where I keep all my tools. Um, I was just thinking, um, you know, why it was leaking from here but it was never doing that before and I thought about it like you know what that's probably why this car has always sounded like it had a turbo on it <laughs> that's probably why it sounded like that it was probably always leaking from here and it just that's the sound that it made but I could be wrong I guess we ain't gonna see until um, I get it back going but you know all of this is sealed now and um, still waiting for this RTV to dry. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know. I think you're supposed to wait 24 hours for RTV, but I'm not trying to wait 24 hours, dude. I'm trying to get tuned. I'm trying to be fast. <laughs> Finally, just came out and started the car, and it idled. <laughs> Fix the vacuum leaks say it's running rich super rich but uh i don't know just started it for the first time today so sounds kind of rough oh no it don't that's just the, uh this crap it's just extra loud now because that belt was too tight at first and it kind of wore off that pudding so now it's all loud but um yeah, no, I ain't nothing wrong with it. I can smell the eating car. <laughs> so yeah, I should be good to um, get tuned now. Only thing is, freaking the weather is garbage today. literally just raining for like two hours straight so my neighborhood looks fine but out there on the streets it's probably all flooded honestly sounds good I guess um, I can let it get up to tent and then um, come over here and set the timing on the alternator. I did it when the car had a vacuum leak, so most likely I'm gonna have to do it again. Got the heater blasting, it's nice and toasty.
that I cut it off, and I was saying 15 to 16. So I think it's right on point, honestly. Um, yeah, so now we, we should be good to go. So now my EFR is just, just slightly higher now. Because everything was kind of off and it had a vacuum leak before. So that's to be expected. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hit up my tuner and let them know that we should be ready to go now. Oh, I broke it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs>